What? What? GoPro just announced a new budget action camera inside of their Hero line? Huh. The GoPro Hero 2018. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Last week with very little fanfare or notification until the stores actually started selling it, action camera company slash old drone making company slash 360 camera making company GoPro announced and released the new Hero version two, I guess? Which is an update to their very older line Hero action camera and this is their budget action camera. And you know me, I love a good budget action camera and so now we're actually talking about a budget GoPro instead of a budget GoPro clone. However, the first thing we got to do is, well, uh, the second thing because I'm holding it right now, but we got to crack open the box. And first up, so that we're all on the same page, let's cover the basic specs. Now we don't know the technical specs because GoPro, even on their website, has not announced what's actually physically inside of this camera. The GoPro Hero has a 10 megapixel camera. It can shoot in 1440 and 1080p in 30 and 60 frames per second. It does have electronic image stabilization and it's waterproof down to 33 feet. Physically, it looks identical to the Hero 5 and the Hero 6. The only distinguishing mark is the 2018 Hero says Hero on the side and the Hero 6 says Hero 6. You know, some, some different differentiating color schemes would be nice, especially when they're all in cases and you can't see what it is. So you don't exactly know which camera you're grabbing off of your shelf if you keep them in the case. I'm not saying that happens, but it, it, it happens. Right off the bat, obviously there's some huge shortfalls. It doesn't shoot 4K, there's no slow motion, and there's no Pro Tune settings inside of the Hero. But there is a lot to potentially like about this little guy. So, how many of the pillars of action, 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 are actually holding up the 2018 GoPro Hero? First up, ease of use. Now, I'm a simple person, and I like gear that is simple to use. That's why I do ease of use first. Easy to use, very important. There's not an action camera out there that's easier to use than the GoPros since the Hero 5 line. It's, they're seriously so easy to use. And one of the major benefits of the 2018 Hero here is is that it has the GoPro touchscreen and menu system. With a few swipes, you can have the camera do anything it's capable of. Change the width of the shot, change the recording settings, turn off the stabilization. You can do it all from the touchscreen right here in seconds. Love it, nobody's easier to use than GoPro. Next up, durability. I feel like every time we do reviewing the cheapest on an action camera, I have to make concessions for the durability because take example, the Yi action cameras. I love my Yi action cameras, but I always have to say, hey, with a case, you can make it more durable, but without a case, it's fairly fragile and I'm not that enthusiastic of its build quality. Well, one thing that GoPro absolutely crushes is the durability in its action cameras. The camera feels very sturdy. It's also waterproof and dustproof without a case, which when I talk about accessories, this is a huge bonus and might be worth the cost premium by itself. Seriously, it's that important to me. One of the other nice to haves that increase the ruggedness of the Hero 2018 is the replaceable lens cover. Action cameras get beaten up, they fall with you, they get dirty and they get muddy and they get gross. If you don't have it in a case, you run the risk of permanently scratching or damaging your lens. But one of the nice things about this replaceable lens cover is you don't have to buy a new camera, you can just buy another piece of this plastic right here and replace the lens cover. Durability for the win! The next pillar is compatible with my GoPro style gimbal and accessories. Well of course it wins this, it's a GoPro. Next! We can skip that pillar. Decent, not perfect image quality. And this is the audio test of the brand new GoPro Hero. So audio test, one, two, three, four. Yes, we'll see how the audio sounds. You know, I got you on a selfie stick and some, you know, some nice, that's the lake. Looking pretty nice today. All right, let's head back.
Okay, so here's where we start to find cracks in the armor. Now, I'm a self-proclaimed non-pixel peeper, but when you review cameras on YouTube, you stare at a lot of footage, so maybe I'm starting to get picky when it comes to image quality, because the image quality on the GoPro Hero, not the best. Now, here are some close-ups, and there is a lot of noise in this image. I wish GoPro would tell us what processor and sensor they've got in here. Now, I assume that this is a GoPro session put into a GoPro Hero 5 body. Can't prove that but that's kind of what the specs lead us to believe. And for $200, the image quality just isn't there. Now I've said things like the Akaso and the Yi Discovery have okay image quality, but those were $60 and a $40 action camera. This is a $200 action camera. I expect more from the image quality. So yeah, one of the nice things about the GoPro here is you can choose your framing. So instead of having the super wide view that we normally do on an action camera, we have a more reasonable field of view. So let's do the low light test next. So this is my normal light. This is the exact same light that my Sony a6300 had. So let's let's drop it down all the way so this is no light except the backlight so let's see how that you know probably I mean probably gonna be pretty rough action cameras are not generally very good in low light but let's let's bring it up a little bit let's bring it up this is max light so you can see like maybe it's overexposed maybe it's not overexposed if it's okay so this has been the low light test let's go back to the other test because uh, it's weird not being able to see what I'm talking about. Next up, stabilization. The 2018 Hero does have decent electronic image stabilization. It's not close to the Hero 6 levels of stabilization, which is still the best electronic image stabilization on the market today. But it's okay for the price. I like that it doesn't add any weird warping effects to the footage like it does when you use the Yi light. So what, right? So we'll talk about my recommendations on whether you should purchase this here in just a second, but I want to talk about some things that I like and some things that I don't like about the 2018 GoPro Hero. Let's start off with the negatives. First off, image quality for 200 bucks is pretty rough. For 200 bucks, you can get a Yi 4K action camera that will shoot in 4K and have a very good sensor and good processor in it. There are also no ProTune settings in the Hero 2018. Now in the GoPro Hero 5 and the GoPro Hero 6, there are manual controls where you can change the exposure, you can change your ISO, you can change the the color profile, there's none of that here. You just gotta do everything in auto, where I do a lot of my stuff in auto anyway, but you know, for the extra price, they could have included it in this body. And here's a big one for me, there's no super view on the GoPro Hero. So there is wide, there's medium, and there's narrow. But my favorite thing about GoPro, and nobody else really does this on the market, is super view. Super view is where you get the, is where you get the huge wide field of view, and that's really great when you're riding a mountain bike or you're riding your motorcycle. And those are the two primary things I use my action cameras for. So I really, really wish that they would have included super view in this, and I'm, I'm very disappointed that they didn't. That's, that might be the biggest negative in the whole thing for me personally. So it's not all gloom and doom, let's talk about some of the things that I really like about the GoPro Hero 2018. So I really, really like that it's in the Hero 5 and Hero 6 body. I like that it's waterproof without a case because the, my action cameras spend the majority of their time in a gimbal. And it just makes me feel so much better when I know that a little bit of rain or a little bit of dirt or a little bit of mud are not gonna destroy my action camera. That puts me at so much ease and it's just nice to be able to take this with you wherever you want to go. You can take it to a water park with you. You can take it swimming. You can take this anywhere you want to go. And you don't have to worry about the case. When you have extra pieces, that's just more opportunity to lose stuff. I lose stuff all the time. Also in another big one, and we mentioned this in ease of use, is I like having access to the GoPro control panel on the touch screen. Now, seriously, no other action camera comes close to GoPro for ease of use. Yes, other brands have touch screens. Yes, other brands have easy to use controls, but nobody comes close to how easy it is to switch between every setting on your GoPro. I mean, seconds is all it takes to get everything you want going. And the touchscreen is really easy to see, even in bright, bright, direct sunlight. Which, you know, if you were trying to frame your shot up and it's bright out and you can't, can't like, I can't see it, well then you don't, I mean, why even have a touchscreen at that point? Because you can't see it. So it's really bright, really easy to see in the sunshine. It's just really great. But should you get the new GoPro Hero? Now, I was really skeptical when I first heard news of the Hero. The website that I originally saw it on, Adorama, had a picture of the old GoPro Hero from a few years ago, which was garbage, where it was a camera that you couldn't take out of its case. It had no features, no functions. I thought this was just an upgraded one of those, and I was like, no, nobody should absolutely buy that. I even, had a, I even sent a tweet out to GoPro saying, yeah, don't. That's terrible. That's a bad idea. However, I've been pleasantly surprised by GoPro on this one. If you want a really easy to use, really robust, really durable action camera, I would recommend the GoPro Hero 2018. 
Now that's not changing my low end budget recommendation of the E-Lite. I still think the E-Lite's a great camera, but if you want to spend a little more and you need something that's waterproof without a case, which I really do, I wholeheartedly recommend the GoPro Hero. I've had no issues over the last three days of using it. But what do you guys think? What are some comparisons that you want to make me see between the GoPro Hero and some of my other action cameras? Leave a comment below and I'll start cranking those videos out as soon as possible. Also, if you're new here, click that subscribe button down below. We do reviewing the cheapest tech every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Well, hey, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure out that the new GoPro Hero is surprisingly good for what it is, even though I didn't think it was going to be good at all, you can figure it out. Thanks for watching.